Hello there everyone and welcome back to Factorio! As you can see, I've been very busily re-establishing my science uh, center. I know I did a bunch of this off camera, but it's all stuff you've seen before. We'll just look at what I've actually built and talk about what it means. So first off, we got our second iron processing center up and running. We have a lot of iron capability and our production has actually dropped precipitously. But that said, we have what I would describe as a absurd quantity of it actually in the buffers here. So we don't have to worry about it for quite some time. Likewise with copper, we have insane quantities of it in stock right now. So this is the Advanced Circuit Manufacturing Center. And what did I break? I broke something. Plastic. There it is. There's the missing missing link right there. So plastic has been interrupted. Oh, and of course, I somehow have wound up with an odd number of these underground belt parts. All right, so we need to get rid of the red one. Our one red underground belt. Where is it? There it is and get a bunch more of those. The uh, production system is working pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. Everything seems to be arriving in good order. Just trying to clear out my inventory of all this extraneous stuff that seems to build up over time. Okay, plastic. Come back to me, plastic. One and two. There we go. Okay. So here comes the plastic, which means the advanced circuits will start being built again, which has actually not ever been an issue, except when apparently plastic has been cut off completely. So I'm pretty sure I have more than enough production capacity in here to keep up with this. Uh, oh, one little thing I did. I snuck a couple of speed modules into the copper cable production. I figure that way these two factories will have no issue keeping up with this huge number of basic factories. Okay, so now that that's under control, let's see, where was that supposed to be going? I was just looking at an empty belt and I can't remember where it was now. Oh, I was trying to figure out why that belt was empty. Okay, so, so for science, right here we've got our inserter production which actually we should have two of. This is actually designed to have two. Although I'm only going to fire that up if I think I need it. We'll see how well science keeps up once I fire things back up here. You may note that I've changed my research. I abandoned the research that I had half done. Um, I'm not sure if that was a waste of materials or not. But, mm, right, one la. But I need, I, I realized that for me to make an efficient use of some of these, we need to, mm, no, that's not going to work the way I'd hoped. Ah, we'll just do temporary ones. I have a, yeah, actually, you know what? I can just throw them. See, I've got science sitting in my inventory here. Anyways, um, I realized I need a logistics system to make the batteries reasonable to deliver to these uh, science centers. And you'll see why in just a moment here. So for the moment, we're going to be delivering them by hand. Now we want to take these down as far towards the end as is humanly possible so that we can squeeze in a couple more factories if necessary. So we'll just take them under the power pole there. And... That takes red and green back online once again. No problem. And then for blue science, we'll just make sure we bring everything back in in the same place under the high tension power lines because I don't know what those are powering at this point. Oh, no, I am going to have to move that, aren't I? There we go. That should do it. Uh-oh. I think I unpowered something important there. I noticed that we've had a turret damaged or something. Nothing too serious. We've actually been doing pretty good there. All right. 
Now let me see, there was a way of distributing items onto a line directly. Nope. And actually the easiest way to do that is going to be grab, we already know that we're going to be unloading to there. So let's just add a bit of an overflow system here for my extra science which is right there. We'll bring it across there. And we'll put all of our excess science in there. There we go. That'll at least get everything back up and running. I may, have, may even have enough to do the job right now. And now the other part that we're missing is getting the blue science actually running again. So for blue science we need steel, advanced circuits, smart inserters, and batteries. So steel and steel and advanced circuits will come in here. So we'll be splitting those off somewhere soon here. Actually I may need to adjust how these underground belts are set up. Um, how could I do that? Oh, I got it. I got it. We need to do the join point here. There we go. That'll come in there. We just need to give ourselves a bit more room to maneuver over on this side. I think that will help. Although steel is in a very inconvenient location here. Let's just leave that as is. Let's bring steel down. All right, so steel will get split over there. Oh, okay, maybe this will be okay. And then it will get run under here. Yeah, see, that's where things could get icky, right there. Um, yes, actually, actually, this could be, I could make this even easier than I thought, okay. So if I do that there, oh, no, no, we need to go here. No, that's not going to work. Never mind. Never mind. Crazy idea is not going to work the way I had hoped. It's this box right here that's causing me a bit of grief. Okay. So we are going to need to split this sooner rather than later. The main steel line goes all the way, hmm, it's this right here, this, this one box is actually causing me grief, isn't that funny? Let's think here, oh, and of course we've got two of those in the wrong place, we'll just grab those, we'll have to get rid of them later, actually. Okay. I didn't actually intend to have to do this much problem solving on camera today. I thought I had it figured out, but apparently I've missed a couple details. Okay. So let's deal with the critical problem. We need to get advanced circuits and steel into the same place. And that's going to be done like so. except that's going to be done at the cost of gears getting through, which is not good. So we're going to have to do a little bit of... Let me just see, how far can these underground belts go? That far. So that is where... All right. All right, well, there goes two parts of the thing right there. All right, now let's see if make sure we can get everything under here. I know I'm using inconsistent belt types here, so... Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't, 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 don't. That would be bad. Okay. That one to there. That one to there. This line to here. And this is where it gets icky. That's what I was afraid of, right there. Okay, so we're going to have to do this 
differently again because of the limited space we're working with. Because we need to somehow get copper under, which means we need to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do this slightly differently here, still. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I've got it. This is going to look really crazy, but I think it actually works crazy enough. Yep, it's crazy town, but it works. All right, and then we just need to split this actually off a lot further down, which is good. That actually makes some of this easier. Okay, because it has to come in on the opposite side. Which actually means it's going to be pulling a full-on U-turn. So if we put its splitter right there, and we go one, one, two, there we go. There we go. Okay. That will work much better. All right, now where was I with trying to get things under this craziness? Okay, so what are we missing? We need to finish taking. Let me see, what's the, the copper? We need to make sure we can get copper plates through here. I don't know if that's actually going to work. Right, no, it won't. It won't. Because of reasons. Okay, so we'll take you under there. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, that to there. Oh, we've got some more damage being done to some turrets. And then this steel line will go under to here. And then this will go crazy town. All right. So that's copper, steel. Iron. Gears. Circuits. And what was this one? What's that supposed to be? That is another... What have we lost? Plastic is still not completely up and running. Oh, crap. I don't know if I've left my... Oh, hold on. That was sort of extraneous, wasn't it? We just need another splitter right here. That'll work better. Okay. Okay, plastic is going to come... Come on, fit, dang you, fit, oh man. Come on, how are we gonna do this? This has gotten really crazy crowded. Hmm. This'll work. This will work. Under, no it won't. Okay, so it has to go to here. And then this one will get converted to one of these over and under. There we go, that. And whoops, of course I put those in in the wrong direction. Down, over, under, over. And then, all right, now advanced circuits, can they reach? No, they can't. That was where our problem was, it's right there. 
That's okay. We've got we've still got a solution. It involves moving everything down one block further. I'm learning. It's it's coming. It's coming. That goes there. And that goes to there. And then the last detail being our underground ma advanced circuits. There we go. I think everything's getting through now. Good stuff. Okay. Okay, so you go under there. Actually, we'll start you one sooner. There we are. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. To there. To there. To there. And through. Okay. So that takes care of the uh, two basic systems. Now, the part we're missing, as you can see, is batteries. Oh, just one second. Sorry about that. Just needed to take care of uh, social contact, so to speak. Okay. So since we've conveniently left this nice space right here, that will actually make organizing this a little easier, just because there's an inadequate amount of space to do what I want to do on the other side. So, whoops, did I, oh crap. I knew I forgot something, ha. Details, details, dang it. Okay. It's okay. Symmetry, I didn't care about symmetry anyways. Whoops. Okay, I need to go get some more of those underground belts and get rid of this one extraneous um, medium speed belt. Let's see, get those. I'll get another stack of these. Pretty much going to be exclusively using the super fast belts from going forward. Oh, and we're going to need this one as well to go under. So this will come here. And these guys will go boom, boom, boom. Whoops. Wrong way. So, to there, one, and to there. There we go. Okay. As I was saying before I made a gross error here, what we need are, it's one more, for now, steel chest, or iron, whatever, doesn't matter because these two are going to be replaced in very short order with the system we actually want. Which you will understand soon. So we need the two missing pieces of blue science are smart inserters and batteries. So smart inserters, what did I do with them? There was a whole mountain of the silly things kicking around somewhere. I think that was back up at our old factory. Still got some stuff to rip up here. Yep, there they are. So those will get us start. This will get us started. And then batteries. There's a few batteries here. We really just need to shut this whole thing down. It's getting really. I'll grab those later. Okay. So, but as you can see, I've got a smarter inserter factory built right here. This, this little spot right here, this is a smart inserter factory, but it's gotten crowded in this area. So 
I'm leaning towards a better solution, which will be available very soon and may actually wind up being displayed in the next episode. But we shall see. For now, into there, limited to one stack buffer. And these will just load up with smart inserters. And this one will load up with batteries. Where are the batteries? I had some batteries, there they are. Whole 11 batteries. So we need to get battery manufacture up and running. Now what I've done is I've brought my chemical plants down here. So all I need to do is get all copper and iron and sulfuric acid. Oh right, sulfuric acid is the step I'm missing. Okay. So this chemical plant will make sulfuric acid, which means it's going to need water, iron. We better give it one more, a couple more spaces here. Yeah, so sulfuric acid goes here. And we will bring water around, like so. Where are the regular pipes? There they are. And like so, there's the water, inserter for the sulfur, and then we just need iron. Now iron is being provided to our steel manufacturing right here. And obviously we're not using that much steel yet. I'll figure out how to get iron to the, uh, the ma this manufacturing center later. Right now I just want to get it going because now we need batteries. And batteries need copper and sulfuric acid. And I mean, as you can see, getting them down to our main area is going to be really hard, really crowded. So I think what we're going to do, actually, is we are going to poach the um, iron off of our two manufacturing lines here because they're actually lower on the priority scale than um, some of the other things, or higher, I should say. So we'll bring the copper around here, and we'll bring it down to there, and that will come up there. There's our iron and our copper. Now then, we need See, batteries can go right here, like this. And what we'll do is, all right, we'll put them, we'll put it back towards here. So what we're going to need to do is bring this around here, like so, and adjust it just in case we need more. We'll use a splitter right here. to grab the copper necessary for... There we go, we'll power all of that like so. Or the iron, this will be the iron necessary to make sulfuric acid going forward. All right, of course it isn't. There we go. And we'll take underground pipe from here. No, nope, obviously not enough room for that. Uh, so we're just going to have to make do with some accessibility issues here. But we can take it under here, like so later. You're making batteries. We need a couple of fast inserters right here and right here. That'll be power for the future. And let me guess, we've got one nice little hole here that doesn't have any power at all. Okay, and then the last one will go to here, which will go into a box temporarily, again, for very good reason. We just need to get our 
system up and running and we actually are going to need two battery manufacturing plants. I know that for a fact from prior experience. So we'll just run these up here. We need one more chemical plant, which we can make in tons of. Need a couple more fast inserters. And in the meantime, we will run our pipes to here. Okay, that can go there. Pipe can go to there and to there. And then our fast inserters can go here and here. I don't know how we've managed to do this without... Okay, it'll be shift right click, shift click. There we go, we got two making batteries now, which we can also speed up with speed modules. We have more than enough material to manufacture. Um, now what's gonna happen, this right here is actually going to get relocated we are going to relocate that. That is going to go into a secondary... Well, I mean, if you haven't guessed already, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a logistics system here in the future. So it's going to be set up in such a way that we will no longer have to worry about trying to belt some of this more expensive stuff around. So what we're going to do, we're going to migrate the batteries over to the system here, because this is how it's going to work. This is going to be the one for batteries. And now we have Blue Science actually being manufactured, which means in a few minutes, what are we missing? Green science. Oh, jeez. Of course. Genius. Never hurts to actually place the inserters that are supposed to unload all of these things. So why is this not working? What are we still... Oh, jeepers. Yeah, a minor, a minor error. All right, we'll just put a slow belt there because it'll do. Now then, we just need to clean that up. Good. All right. That was a terrible, a terrible error. All right, let's just put all of these in here. And then we need a temporary loading system. Actually, we don't even need that. We just need to put them in. Because... All right. Now that our science is actually going to be going, mostly, except for the part where a couple of these things are not actually producing yet. And there's 50 more smart inserters for this one. And we'll bring 50 more batteries over. And as soon as the logistics system is over, I happen to have built two RoboPorts. All I need to do now is build some robot chassis or something. Intermediate parts. Those require electric engine units and batteries. Hey, there we go. All right, we might as well get alien technology done as well, because that'll let us start making alien science packs. Anyways, I'm going to do just a bit of work to get some... You know what? We'll pick up in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed. See you in the next one.